Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It's Amanda. Long time no see. <sighs> it's a beautiful spring morning, and I'm coming out here this morning to let my chickens out. It's about almost 10 o'clock in the morning, and waiting for my grands to show up. It we got a we got a pretty good frost last night. <sighs> um, not sure about my blueberries, but I did that last year. So that's what happens when you start getting spring weather in February instead of March and April like you're supposed to. But whatever. So let me go ahead and shut these birds. Um, shut them up. Good night. Um, let them out. We did lose one the other night. Not sure what happened, but we had 13. We are down to 12. And um, with this batch anyway. And I'm getting probably about four eggs a day off. Good night. I did hear a huge commotion the other day, and um, I didn't go out there. I pretty much knew it was a hawk. That is an amazing rooster. He takes care of his girl so well. But anyway, like I said, I did lose one out of this batch. I hate that, but it is what it is. And I did kind of want to go over here and show you what's going on in the garden. We have been working on the garden a little, um, even though I told you <laughs> we're not doing a full-fledged garden. We are doing a little bit of stuff, so let's go over here. I'm trying to see if I got any eggs. I kind of doubt it this early in the morning. Um, yeah, no eggs. I never get them this early in the morning. You know, I've never understood why in movies where you see, like in Little House on the Prairie and all those other shows, and all those other shows, you know, about the prairie and all that stuff, they go out and they check eggs, like the Waltons, first thing in the morning. Go collect your eggs. Y'all. I don't know a chicken yet that lays an egg in the middle of the night. Occasionally they will, but they won't. They got it all backwards. They lay throughout the day. So it's actually better to go check at the end of the day. Don't believe everything you see on TV. So anyway, let's go over here. So you can see here, we do have this all tilled up and this is all for potatoes. This is for potatoes. That's all we're doing. We're not doing broccoli this year. Um, this is potatoes. We are going to put in a few what do you call it? Pepper plants. Because I like having my peppers, my onions, my potatoes. Y'all look, my grass is so green. It's going to be brown tomorrow because it was such a heavy frost this morning. Look at them. Every morning, first place they run to is over here where I feed the birds because they get all the bird food off. Y'all, I want you to look up here. You probably can't see it. I'm going to try to zoom it in. See that mockingbird right there? Oh, he knows I'm talking. He is so beautiful. I love coming out here and listening to him. And I actually put out a feeder for him because I've been wanting to attract him. I'm probably going to regret wanting to attract mockingbirds um, to my yard for the songs because they love blueberries. Yep, they absolutely love blueberries. And there are going to be times where I know they'll camp out in there and they'll have breakfast first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go over here and let these girls over here out. Of course, I've got my two wild white chickens. Um, I am going to go over here and see if I've got any eggs. Because this is where the white ones, nine times out of ten, lay. <gasps> Look. There she is. She's faithfully laying her egg now. Wondering where you were. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Let you take care of your business. And then this one is usually over there waiting until I let that group over there out. Now, before I let them out, you'll notice I have a stick over here. I'm having to make sure I have a stick now when I let the rooster out because the first thing he wants to do is come after me. I show him the stick. He knows I mean business. And we're on our way. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Okay. Good. There they go. <laughs> They're just so happy to get out from under there. We got any eggs in here? I'm not sure. Uh. Oh, yes, I got a clutch of little eggs back there. See, I got to get them, too. Don't ask how I get them. It's a real pain, but it, I, it works. There's my Carlos catty cat. That's my buddy. Yes, him he is. He going to come over here and want me to hold, pet you? Y'all, I'm allergic to cats. I ain't supposed to be petting you. You know I'm not supposed to pet you. It going to get ugly if I pet you. Y'all, we first got this cat, like every other animal that we have, almost, except for the farm animals. Um, people drop animals off and we ended up keeping this one. He came along by the time we got our cow. Okay, there's Domi. Yeah, yeah, Domi. But anyway, this one came along and it would sit beside me every time I was milking Annabelle and wait for me to squirt milk at it. It was absolutely adorable. And then he'd always get a, um, what do you call it? A bowl full of milk afterwards. 
Gotta have a barn cat. Gotta have a barn cat. Now I'm gonna have to go wash my hands before I touch anything because uh, every time I touch a cat or anything like that, afterwards I have to go wash my hands or my eyes. And I, it's horrible. Horrible allergies. But anyway, this is our onion patch. Got our onions in. Got about as many this year as we did last year. So like I said, we've got onions over here. I'm gonna put peppers in the middle of April and t potatoes. So we have potatoes, peppers, onions, all the good things. Wanna start some actually, I'd like to start, I'm not going to. I need to get basil in and I need some oregano. I know I used to have a whole patch of oregano over there, but Hurricane Florence drowned it. Kind of shot that and also killed my rosemary bushes that were huge. Haven't replanted anything since then. <laughs> See, this group does the same thing. It's it's amazing if you watch chickens, they have their rounds at a certain time of the day. They will be at the same place at a certain time every single day. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is. But um, here are blueberries. I just chased a bunch of birds out. Here, I'm not sure. You can't tell or not, but they've been blooming for quite some time. The frost may have got them. We'll figure it out. If you actually look, we actually have some starting to set. You probably can't see it's blurry. Um, they're starting to come on the um, the vine, and we still have a bunch of blooms that are going to turn into them. Better not turn my back. Not with that rooster. So I did try and plant for the first time this year snapdragons the cold is not what got them i have a bad batch of miracle grow and i forgot about it i should have photoed away last year yes but i didn't and as soon as i did this this is what happened i don't know what on earth is going on but i had a bad batch of miracle grow besides that i also have some pansies over here that i put up and it's pretty much the same thing. It's kind of like a hit and miss. They look they look pretty good. They're all right. But if you look on this side, for no reason, I have some of them that are just dying. And there's really no reason for it. And over here, the only thing I can contribute to is that bad batch of miracle Grow that I had. And these seem to be doing okay. They seem to be doing all right. Um, I'm surprised they're still living because we've been in the 80s. We've actually been normal for the last few days. They're okay, but if you come over here, here's the same thing. These were starting to get absolutely gorgeous. For no reason, they're getting limp and dying. The blooms don't die, but the flower does. I kind of thought earlier it might have been because of the heat. It wasn't the heat. As soon as I put the miracle Grow on it, it did it. So these are looking pretty rough. Oh, I was hoping they'd last me at least until the middle of April when I can put the warm flowers in a year. Um, marigolds or whatever, but yeah. Listen, can y'all hear that? Listen. Oh, I love hearing birds sing, y'all. That's the best part about spring to me is listening to the birds sing. It really is. And I have a feeder over there. I'm pretty sure a squirrel knocked down. I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, come over here hey red hey girl i need to fix that up we come over here we've had wind like crazy you know march winds that type of thing we've had them like crazy and well, as soon as i get off this video i'll fix that but here are the azalea bushes i'm quite sure they got fried last night literally well freeze dried i should say <laughs> freeze dried because it's so cold they're so beautiful i'm going to actually pick up this bush is in desperate need of trimming, which is perfect. So I can go in here and pull this off and make me a beautiful bouquet in the house. These right here are just now starting to bud out. And when it does, y'all, this whole yard is like the most amazing pink in the world. And I just, oh, y'all, I love spring. I love spring. I love spring. Love the cool weather and everything. So what's your cat cat doing? What's your cat cat doing? Huh? What's your cat cat doing? You want me to pet you? We'll pet you the way I'm supposed to. There you go. There you go. No, she don't like that. Some way to pet her. Anyway. Anyway, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm not. I'm not gonna kidding you. I'm struggling with a lot of things, but this is just gonna be a little 
show you what's going on around here how spring is beautifully beautifully progressing which i'm so thankful for all these colors and everything so i guess where what do you guys where you are has spring sprung where you guys are um looking forward to the spring and summer kind of taking it slow thinking about a lot of things but just hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you for taking the time to stop in and just see what's going on around the homestead um what is behind me there they go i've got to watch this whoops i better not do that look at the chance yeah what are y'all doing hey red this is red I was going to show you Red, but she's right down below. She's the only one to let me pick her up. Will she let me pick her up? Let's see. I thought she'd let me pick her up, but she's not going to let me pick her up. Anyway, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully, I'll get some better videos out. <laughs> Mr. BB. Um, I did go grocery shopping the past week or so, and I picked up some amazing deals. Um... Hopefully, I'll get a video out and show those to you. And I'm hoping to do a big prep, um, freezer prep meal in the next coming weeks. So, hope you guys are having amazing days. I love my chickens. They calm me down. I love listening to him. He's a good rooster. Takes care of his girls, but he's not mean and rough with them. If you had roosters, you understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, you guys have a blessed day.